Christ in it. Now, as the name implies reference, tell you that what materials here are, are not meant for reading or study purposes. They are only meant for what reference and consultation purposes. The materials in the reference unit are arranged as well, a separate collection in the, in, the, in the library. What are some of those materials for reference? We have things like dictionary, we have maps, we have bibliographies, we have yearbooks, we have journals. All these things are all what? Reference materials. You just go there to consult it for what? a particular bit of information. And now, the materials in the reference unit are not for them. We don't borrow it out to library users. It's only meant to be in the library. You check what you want to check when you are done. Like the library. So that is all about what the reader service division. The next division of the library, the next structural division, is the what technical service division. Now, the technical service division is another division. Its activities, the works, the manipulations of the technical service division are unknown. They are what unknown to library, uh, regular library users. The activities are what hidden behind the scene. I target behind the scene. You don't see what these people do. So now, how do we know what they do? We are going to the technical um, service divide, um, division is divided into what two main parts, and we are going to list it right now on the board. So now, the first unit of, under the technical service division is the collection development unit. Now, these units. Their primary function is to what? To collect what? Orders. To receive orders. Now, one of their functions is to handle recommendations of books for um, purchase. Now, there are books um, used library users come to demand on a daily basis, on a regular basis. And now when the demand is high and the book are in the library, these units are in charge of what? Writing down the, the purchase. They are, they are in charge of what? Writing down their demands. And now, when they have written down the demand, what did they do? They order for such books. And they also what? receive orders from suppliers. The suppliers could be another library, or could be the issues were to the government. They, and now, they carry out bibliographic data checking. They carry out what? They try to check from time to time how current are their bibliographies, those ones embedded in the library. They try to know all these things and have a lot of functions. But one of the, one primary team was not about the collection development unit is that what they handle what the collection, they handle what collections of new books. That is the first unit of the technical service. Now the second one is the cataloging and classification units. Now so this cataloging and classification units they organize materials into a set pattern of classes. Now why are there catalogs in the library? When you go to the library, you don't need to ask someone where is it. Where, let's use the academic library. Let's ask someone, okay, where is the book for education? Where is the book for law? Where is the book for this course? There are catalog cabinets. And on each catalog cabinet, there are what cards, catalog cards placed on it. On these catalog cards, there are what inscriptions on it. Tell you that these ones are for what education. And under education, they will tell you the aspect of education. This one is for law. They tell you the aspect of law where this card fall under. So now, in this catalog, their job is to what? To arrange. Their work to arrange this library material, these collections, into what? A set pattern of classes. These are many other functions. So now, let's talk about what? The serial division unit of the library. Now, the serial division unit of the library, this is a separate division all entirely from other aspects of the library. We have serials, we have journals, we have yearbooks, we have government policies. You start where you see books on WHO, that is the World Health Organization, their publication. You see the United Nations, publications on them are found in the serial division. Then another aspect of the, li of the library are the world boundary units. The boundary units. This department of the library, they are in charge of what? Repairing damaged books. Remember, we said one challenge of the library is what? The mutilation of books, that is destruction. So when such books are being destroyed, it is the function of the boundary units to what? To repair these books and make sure that everything is in order. 
then the last um, like um, aspect is what the special collection division. As we as it has been tagged special collection. Now this books in special collection are just books for leisure purpose, not really for for any um, research or study, just for going there for your leisure time, just to spend your time. What are some of those things you can see there? You see some people also going there to read newspaper in the library. You see some collections, maybe books that talks about motivational books. All these things have been found in the special collection division. So now, by our outline, we tell that the library it has what, based on the structural organization, it has six units. I will talk of the administrative departments, which is what they held. This is where the chief librarian of the school decide, and the person here was supervises all the activities. We talked of the reader service division, and here we said that what these people are meant to serve the students. I will talk of it was subdivided into three, which are the circulation unit, reference unit, and then when we talk of technical service division, which are divided into what, two aspects, and the two aspects are what cataloging, and then the other aspect is what collection development. We just talked about the serial division unit, the boundary unit for repairs, and then the special collections. So it's pertinent for you that what no library exists without what an organization. Thank you.